Hello friends. Today in this video tutorial, we'll be deep. we'll be talking about sequence structures. So, when there is a programming requirement in which events are bound to happen in a particular sequence, then the programming will for loop and while loop will not generate the required results. One can try programming sequential tasks with for loop and while loop, but generation of correct results is not guaranteed. On such occasions, when the programming task requirement of occurrence of events in sequential manner is critical, then the solution is to use sequential structures. There are two sequential structures in LabVIEW, flat sequence structure and stack sequence structure. So let's explore what this is all about. Now there is a programming requirement, task at hand. We have to generate random numbers and we have to plot them on the waveform chart. A 250 millisecond delay is given in between plotting of each number. And we have to keep on generating the random numbers till we hit the stop key. Once we hit the stop key, the execution of this loop will stop and then after this event has happened, execution of the loop has stopped, the plotting of random numbers on the waveform chart has stopped. Then only, then and then only, this done should be displayed. on the screen. So let's see if this program can execute this sequence of events. First event is plotting of random numbers at the delay of 50 milliseconds. The second event is when you press the button of stop, the plotting of numbers on the waveform chart should stop. And once that stops, the third event is done should be displayed to which we click on OK to stop the program. Let's run now. You can see that I have used while loop and the plotting of numbers is going on. I have not hit the stop button yet, but done has been displayed. And even if I click OK, still the plotting of numbers is going on. That means this is third event and it has happened just with the first event. Plotting of numbers was the first event. Second event was stop and stopping the execution of the while loop and then done should be displayed. So, Programming sequential structures with for loop or while loop will not guarantee the generation of required results. Let's stop it now. I hit the stop key and the plotting of random numbers on the graph, uh, sorry, waveform chart stops. Let's now program this using sequential structure. Here I have used sequential structure to program the same thing. This is, sorry, Here I have used sequential structure to program the same thing. I have put the first programming task into the first sequence of the sequence structure. This is a sequence structure, flat sequence structure in which we have appearance like the movie frame 
for the movie films so these are one two three these are the frames of the sequence structure the task program door here will execute first then second then third and so on here i have used two frames of a flat sequence structure so this is the first frame in which i have put the programming task of generating random numbers and the stop task then i have put the done task into the second frame of the sequence structure so let's see how it executes no done is shown over here because the loop execution is in the first frame here only the execution is going on currently and the execution has not reached over here let's highlight let's see once more with the highlight so you see that this portion is a bit grayed out because the execution is only in this frame so random numbers are being plotted and when i hit the stop key i have hit the stop key the program execution stops uh, of the while loop and then the sequence has been shifted on to the second frame and as i press the okay key the program finishes so this way we can ensure that the sequence of events can be programmed in a reliable manner if we have a sequential programming task then we must use flat sequence structure there is another st structure which is known as stack sequence structure i will talk about that in my next video tutorial in this tutorial let's explore further the flat sequence structure flat sequence structure can be taken from this place this is the flat sequence structure you can just put it down now this is a program in which i have used loop into loop flat sequence structure is the outer loop and while loop is the inner loop so i can put any programming task in the frame over here and if i want to add frame i can just add frame after and i can keep on adding frames and if required i can delete a particular frame delete frame delete this frame or i can merge the frames also merge frames add frame after add frame delete this frame sorry add frame after you can also insert a frame right and you can put all the things programming things within this and you can also put supposingly your next task is to generate some numbers so this you can do means anything you can do you can also put delay in between the sequential tasks just like this you can put some delay so this way you can program sequential events using flat sequence structure thanks for watching